Hey guys, today we're checking out a rather colorful motherboard from ASRock. This is an ASRock B550 Tai Chi Razer Edition. As you may have guessed it, it is a collaboration with Razer. The board is designed to work with the AMD AM4 socket and supports the new Ryzen 5000 CPUs. Let's talk about it. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. First of all, let's cover the CPU support. This board will work with any older 3000 CPUs, 4000 G series chips, if you somehow find them, and of course the Ryzen 5000 series. Just make sure you have the latest BIOS installed. To feed the CPU, we have a 16 phase VRM with pretty beefy heatsinks. The power delivery is done via the 8 plus 8 pin connectors at the top of the board. On the right hand side, we have four DIMM slots supporting dual channel DDR4 memory with speeds up to 5200 MHz and a maximum capacity of 128GB. For a full list of compatible CPUs and RAM, I would really recommend checking out ASRock's website. Back to the board. Here we find three PCIe Gen 4 x 16 slots as well as two PCIe Gen 3 x 1 slots so there are plenty of expansion options here. Underneath the shroud and heatsinks, there are two M.2 slots. The top one is running PCIe Gen 4 and the bottom one is PCIe Gen 3, or it can also be set to SATA 3 mode. On the side, we have another eight SATA ports. Across the board, we have seven fan headers and four RGB headers, two of which are addressable 5 volt type and two are standard 12 volt type. On the right hand side, we have onboard USB 3.2 Gen 1 headers, two of which are of a type A and one of them is a type C port. As a person who likes to tinker with the kit and overclock their PC, I'm a big fan of a power plus reset buttons paired with a debug LEDs at the bottom of the board, as well as the clear CMOS and BIOS flashback at the rear IO panel. Speaking of the rear panel, here we have a nice array of ports, including display 1.4, as well as HDMI 2.1, and a bunch of USB ports. For communications, we have 2.5 gigabit ethernet and two antenna ports that are used by both Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1. To top all of this off, we have a nice selection of audio connectors. So with all of this said, what is the difference between the original Tai Chi and the Razer Edition? As far as performance goes, both are exactly the same, but Razer Edition has a nice bit of a twist to it via the sleek design and a custom RGB placement, as well as an RGB integration support. I personally really like the clean look of it. It's a bit of a head scratcher why they spent the time putting some sort of design above a chipset though, as it instantly gets covered up by a graphics card. But hey, it does look good in the product pages. Overall, this is a great fully featured board that will be a good fit for any enthusiast. If, on the other hand, you require more high speed USBs or want to have multiple PCIe Gen 4 drives, then you are in luck. ASRock will also be releasing an X570 version of the same board, so you can go and check that out. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next one.